Unforgotten, the untold story of murdered Chicago women, women whose faces remind me of my black mother, Nicole Lionel Ridge, sisters, Velma Howard, wife, Catherine Satterfield Buchanan, cousins, Kelly Sarf, aunts, Hazel Marion Lewis, daughters, Theresa Bunn, granddaughters, Wanda Hall, Not trash, not widgets, not just a statistic, not forgotten. Yvette Mason. Just the flaws. Antoinette P. Simmons. Despite the way their killer discarded their breathless, brutalized bodies in assorted alleys, vacant lots, abandoned buildings, or set ablaze in garbage cans from Chicago's south side to the west side. They are human, not garbage. Say their names. Look into their eyes. See their souls. No matter how sordid the details of some of these victims pass, they were flesh and blood, heart and soul, human, all 51. The case of the murdered Chicago women was glaring, and the absence of public outcry over their mostly unsolved murder cases, let alone the possible link to a serial killer, was reason enough to pursue the story. My hope was that our project might humanize the women beyond the prostitute and drug addict tag under which all of them had been clustered, perhaps raise public awareness. And if our work makes some small difference, perhaps even brings one family solace, then our labor will have not been in vain. Nancy Walker's family and friends remember her as a sister, a loyal friend, an entrepreneur with a zest for life, a dreamer, and also a doer. Jenny Mellis' family remembers her as a daughter, loving mother, caring. She is remembered for her heart, for how she lived, and also the way she died, but most of all, for the way she loved. Rio Renee Holyfield's family remembers her for her laughter by her nickname, Chocolate. As Auntie, she is remembered for the special peanut butter and jelly sandwiches she made and her spaghetti. Shantia Smith is remembered for how she departed this world violently and too soon at 26, leaving behind a daughter who now lives with a portrait of her mother's face emblazoned on a pillow. And there is Jessica Flores, whose sister still finds it hard to accept that she is gone and whose murder is evidence that this is not just a Chicago problem. Gwendolyn Williams is remembered by her sister's as a fierce protector, as Rosa Lee Pritchett's baby girl. She is remembered for her love for dancing and as being buried in a royal blue dress at a South Side cemetery, a few feet from her mother, who died still waiting for justice for her daughter's murder.